There are hundreds of options now when it comes to mini crawlers and I do find the market is so oversaturated with options and it does make it extremely hard to know what to go for. Now I featured some epic mini crawlers from the likes of Rock Hobby and FMS here on my channel over the years and they always seem to impress. And here we have another one, this is the recent 124th scale mini crawler and I'm really hoping this turns out to be really good. And it's pretty much an identical copy of the SCX24. Now this thing is also a lot cheaper than the SCX24 as well. You can pick these up for about £70 or about $80 and that does make it a lot cheaper. But just because it's cheaper, does it mean you get the same quality? Well, today we're gonna to find out. So we'll have a look at what we get in the box, we'll then have a look at the truck itself, and then we'll get it out for a test run. So we've got two 380 milliamp hour 15C lithium ion batteries. We have got a basic black and white manual, a USB charger. Finally, we've got the transmitter. Now this thing's not too bad. Yes, it does look and feel a little bit plasticky. Now looking on the side there, we have got our throttle jewel rate adjustment, steering jewel rate, and our steering trim. I believe this button here will control the LEDs, but we'll have a look later. And you will need four AA batteries to get you up and running. So that's all you get in the box, back to the truck then. Now we've got this really nice hard body, and this does have some nice scow exterior details, such as this really nice front bumper. We've got windscreen wipers there, door handles, wing mirrors, and a full-size spare wheel on the back. So let's remove these body clips and take a closer look at the chassis underneath. Now I've unplugged the LEDs for a moment, we'll take a closer look at those later, but let's have a look at the chassis first. And I do have to say the quality of this body does feel really, really good. It does have some nice weight behind it as well. So this little crawler is fully proportional. We've got ball bearings throughout. We've also got friction shocks, and I believe those are almost identical, if not identical, to the SCX24 shocks. They actually feel quite nice, and I do like friction shocks on some of these smaller crawlers because they do add to the scale realism. So this has got worm gears, metal chassis rails, plastic drive shafts and links. We've also got a decent sized Velcro strap there to secure your battery. Electronics wise, we've got a two in one ESC and receiver, a tiny little brushed motor, and we've also got an axle mounted free wire servo. Now we also get some really nice soft compound tires. They feel really, really good. So let's see how much power we have got on that servo. Yeah, it feels quite good. And again, this is fully proportional doesn't have a lot of steering angle. I bet this thing's got a very wide turning circle. And as I expected, this thing has got a very, very wide turning circle. That is extremely wide. But look, we'll see how it performs off-road later. So having a look at the LED lights then, we've got indicators. And as I expected, the spare button on the transmitter is your LED light switch. If we click that in, there you go, you've got your headlights. Click it in again and they go off. Now we've also got brake lights on the rear. Yeah, overall, not a bad little LED setup. And on a car this cheap, a nice little addition. So that's pretty much it. All we need to do now is take this thing out for a little run. And I'm really hoping it turns out to be a good little truck because it is really cheap. And I love doing cheap stuff here on my channel. And I really hope I can recommend these. Right, so it's finally time to give this little crawler a go. I'm very excited to see how it performs, so let's do it. Now I'm gonna stay quiet for a bit, I'm gonna let you enjoy the truck, and then we'll talk about it at the end. So there we go then guys, that was the recent 124th scale mini crawler. Now I'm really pleased with the performance of this little crawler and when you consider how much it actually costs, 
Well, I think it's worth every penny. Now, the thing I really like about this crawler is that hard body. I just think it looks fantastic. And if you can see past the extremely wide turning circle, well, what you have here is an incredible little option. And I love these mini crawlers because again, you don't have to spend a huge amount of money to have fun. Now you can use books and empty boxes and you can make a really nice indoor crawler track. Yes, I think this thing is worth the $80 price tag, £71. I think it's worth every penny. Now, I don't know for a fact, but I would like to say a lot of the upgrade parts that you can buy for the SDX24 will also fit onto this. And what that means is you're going to have loads of upgrade options to make this little crawler your own. So we're going to leave the video there today. I really hope you enjoyed seeing this little thing in action. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one. Take care.